do either one of you care about the HP in this? Uh, H it, May it rest in peace. No, it, it's not going to rest in peace. HP is still killing HP and killing WebOS and killing all that stuff, but because all the retailers have basically sold out of... Uh, we want WebOS uh, Yeah, it, cause since they dropped the price... You know, if That's anything, why I give a shit about you know, if anything, this proves if you get these slate devices down to that hundred dollar price, or you figure out a way to do it, uh, they'll fly off the shelf because they they. Yeah, but it has to be good one hundred dollar devices. Well, and those are because they're all one hundred dollar netbooks and not really selling the Windows CE devices. Well, no, but that. see, that, that's the thing. If you go into here, and I don't know what the hell HP is thinking, they're shutting down their consumer electronics division because they say it doesn't make enough money, and they're still planning to shut it down, but because so many people want the. Uh, you know, want the touchpad? They are going to make another run of them, uh, and they're but they're going to keep selling them at the hundred dollar price. And as near as people can figure, the touchpad costs Hewlett Packard roughly three hundred dollars to make, which means they're they're shutting down HP Electronics because it's not making the money. But now they're going to make another run of these devices that they have no interest in salvaging or making a long-term product at and lose $200 a piece. Wow. Who, who the hell runs CFP now? Damn. Does that make your hurt as much, head hurt as much as it makes mine hurt, James? <laughs> My mind equals blown. Uh, it would make sense if they're trying to, you know, have a Yeah, I mean, no, that makes perfect sense to help, you know, this would be the ideal yeah. way to establish... To put the cost on this, right? Yeah, the yeah, the, the, yeah. They elite has a loss leader. Yeah, this would be the loss leader to establish the WebOS platform. I could see that, but they said, we're not changing our mind. We're still scrapping WebOS and shutting it down. And it, I don't think this is going to make it any more enticing to anybody who's looking to buy it. Do you? It's like it's like oh yeah, you y'all lost an extra two hundred dollars on another run of units that didn't exist. What? We want to buy this? Why? <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm wondering who's wanting to buy all these touchpads. Because I mean, with the platform in such disarray like this, do we? Do we honestly think anybody's going to buy WebOS, and if they buy it, are they going to be buying it to continue the WebOS platform in the WebOS store? Or are they Don't just going to have WebOS operating system? Yeah, but are they, are they just going to be buying it to have the patents? Hmm. I don't know, that's a tough question because I really would like to see WebOS be. Bought it you know, to have the patents, but I don't know if you're talking about a buy for the patent. Google buying Motorola. Uh, Google has enough pads. They don't need it anymore. No, Google fixed their patent issues when they bought Motorola. That's what we talked about last week. They did. They, they just solved their patent issues. But just and, you know, they well, solved and, and, another party like to keep WebOS running. You know, well, just well, not Google, not Microsoft, not Apple. Somebody else. Well, no, but see, that's the thing. That's it, it, the the rumors are the likely per, the most likely company to buy WebOS right now as many people pointed out in PMs and some in the comments, is Apple. Samsung. Samsung. And Samsung has is getting some of their, it has, you know, recently went through having, uh, being unable to sell some of their products in the EU due to Apple claiming things. I mean, the obvious reason for Samsung to buy WebOS the is the patents because WebOS was written by all the people who worked on iOS who weren't allowed to do what they wanted and make iOS a good OS. So Palm recruited them and said, all that stuff that Apple won't let you do, come do it over here. So, you know, it's the perfect weapon to go, fuck you, Apple. <laughs> um, and, but then even Samsung would have the power to Google, too. No. I, honestly, I think what they do is they just use that as leverage for what they're doing with Android. But I don't think they'd continue WebOS if they're the ones who bought it. 
Well, if they would continue WebOS, think about it. They would have their own platform with... It would be like OS 2. They can run Windows apps, but they can run OS 2 apps. You know? And OS 2 just worked out so good for IBM. <laughs> <laughs> OS 2 was a great OS. And then yeah. IT came around and kicked the shit out of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. O- o- OS 2 was Windows Plus. Was Windows 2... What was it? Was it... I can't remember, was it 2.0 or 3.0 plus? Yeah, it was 3.11 for, oh, for work groups plus, I guess. Yeah, okay, so it's 3 based, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, okay. A- anything else to say on the HP Admiss? Uh, not really. I, I know we're all Linux people here, with the exception of Kami, who's a I hate Mac Mac fanatic. <laughs> uh, what? I, I, I hate Mac, but I have a Mac. Yeah, K- Kami hates Apple, but he's like an Apple fanboy. <laughs> he's a closet Apple fanboy. He has a Frankenbosch. Yeah. He, 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 he likes to. I sleep with him by my bed and I tell bedtime stories. <laughs> I hate this. And, and then you game. bitch endlessly about the proprietary nature of it. It's yeah. Like, it's, like, it's, it's like, if you're making a Frankintosh, you should be going in there and, you know, it's like, oh, this was this great thing that Apple did. It was ahead of its time. Others just didn't follow. No, you take it apart, Frankintosh it, and explain why it sucks. It's like, yeah. What? <laughs> well, I like what's in the garden. I like what's in the wall garden, but I like to put some stuff, my stuff in there, okay? If that makes any sense. I like the wall garden, but I like the window locking. If that makes any sense. Okay. <laughs> uh, moving on to what I've been afraid was going to happen to Windows since I saw Microsoft Office. Um, <laughs> what do y'all think of Microsoft's decision to basically uh, build my... everywhere. Yeah. Can you at least have, like, legacy, uh, was it, GDI stuff in there? The, can, since they're building it into the version of Explorer that's going to be in Windows 8, I'm guessing even if you switch to Classic Mode, it's going to be like switching to Classic Mode. When you launch Office, it's still a ribbon UI. And this is Explorer, the key file navigation for Windows. So, Windows yeah, is now... Windows isn't GDI forever. Is, is it really going to go that quickly? That's what Microsoft's saying. Windows 8, it, it, the Explorer, you know, the, like the File Explorer, is going to go ribbon. You know, they have this whole thing where it's like, well, we've determined that most of the functions that people use and explore are accessed via right-click, and two of the most popular ones aren't even in the menu. Even Notepad still uses the old GDI thing with the menu bar, but not ribbon yet, but I guess that's going to be changed soon in Windows 8. They're, if they're changing Explorer, it, 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 either this Windows or the next Windows, Kiss the traditional menu goodbye. Windows is now a ribbon UI OS. And I wonder if they're going to have a ribbon UI. Uh, say, say that again, James. I wonder if they're going to make Internet Explorer have a ribbon UI. If that they're uh, well, can, if they're doing it for Windows Explorer, yeah, I, I think IE10 is going to be ribbon. <laughs> ribbon, ribbons everywhere. I don't, I, yeah, I, I don't like the ribbon UI. It, it, I, I, I get the, you like it? I don't know. Oh. I'm not a big fan of it, but I can get used to it, but oh, I don't want to that's not to, to say, you know, I do like GNOME 3, so. Uh, okay, well, it's like, basically. I think I'll get the GNOME 3 before I get into ribbon, damn. <laughs> yeah. It's, no, what about you? Have any kind you're you're KDE, but what about you? as far as how much screen space it takes up. Well, no, the, the, that's the thing I hate most about the ribbon, and, and that's the thing. When you go into the ribbon, it, especially if you're on a small screen or a screen with little real estate and, and yada yada, the ribbon is taking up valuable real estate. You know, it, basically you can't see your document because the menu's in the way, which is just annoying. You know, it's it's... You know, I had the same problem with a not um, with screen real estate with a non techie. He he got an iPhone like his wife did, and and yeah, she got she got an iPod Touch for her son, and yada yada so far. And he 
hate and my brother he hates it as a phone. He's like, I, I can't I can't use this thing. There's no keyboard. He's like, I don't like this like on screen keyboard, you know? Yeah, I it, it, you know, it's pretty real estate is very precious, you know? It's like think... gold. It's like bitcoins. <laughs> yeah. I I mean I I I, I thought the ribbon was a bad idea. I've been wishing Microsoft would abandon it, but it looks like they're going to force it on everyone everywhere. Um, I wish they abandoned it. You should wish they'd make everything ribbon and then people will switch. I don't like the ribbon. Exactly. Oh, oh, you're, you're saying Microsoft should drive more people to Linux and OS X. Yes. Oh, oh, I didn't think of it that way. Yeah, they'll make another Vista and lose another 10% market share. Yeah! Way to go, Microsoft! You're making the right decision. We love and think you're intelligent. <laughs> yeah, Windows ME3.0. <laughs> Windows ME3.1 for working. Windows ME3.1 for workgroups, which I really like to call it. Yeah, it's like... It, it, uh, now, this I find funny. You know, it, it, to, hear, to hear them talk... Microsoft says it has three main goals for Windows 8 Explorer. Optimize it for management. Well, the ribbon's counterproductive to that, but okay. Oh, you didn't put the third one in. Yeah, create a streamlined command experience, which means they're going to try and turn the whole of Windows into the Chrome experience. I, I'm noticing since Chrome came out and the fact that it's gotten such a market share in browsers, everybody is trying to turn everything into the Chrome experience. Okay, some things minimalistic and simple... I like this Firefox thing where it's modular. You can put buttons wherever the hell you want them. Hey, wait, say that again, James. The ribbon interface is not at all like Chrome. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not saying the ribbon interface is like Chrome. I, I mean the fact that they're trying to streamline it. They, I, I'm just saying what Microsoft's goals are. Yeah, they're like hiding all the options. Stuff yeah, ba 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 basic, options, you know? basically everybody is going for the less is more. You know, it's like you don't need no options, you don't need no menus, you, you need less buttons, less choices. We need to reduce everything to a big shiny button. I'm like, that works good for some things. Other things, what took me 30 seconds now takes me 5 minutes and I don't want to see everything. But you're an old fart. Yes, I know. I've become an old fart before my you're time. Funny, buddy. But the third goal Microsoft has for Windows Explorer 8 is almost laughable. And I'm going to quote Microsoft here. And restore the most relevant and requested features from Windows XP. What? <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh, what? What? That's one of their goals. They're like, okay, we realize we took too much away. We're going to try and put some of it back. But they put a qualifier. That when will... When back, that was, that was an XP. Yeah, well, they'll say a, their qualifier is that will fit. So if putting back features that you had in XP and could do easily and quickly get in the way of us dumbing it down and simplifying it, you're not getting them. <laughs> uh, if they, you know, why don't you just make a Windows XP and you can know, just... With all, the, with all the security things update, you know, and just like, okay, here we go, this is Windows 8. Well, and People you will buy it. Uh, uh, well, uh, on that note, and I'll, uh, both of yours two cents on this, if Windows keeps going this direction with the UI where it says more and more culture shock, do you think it will become popular for Windows users just to throw the Windows shell away and install KDE in place of it? <laughs> Are they... Yeah, yeah. Yes, KDE is available for Windows. I don't know the shell replacement, but you can put it on top of Windows. Yeah, you could you could put it on top of Windows. But I don't, you can't replace the taskbar and replace it to KDE bar to make task. You can get darn close. And, and I and it wouldn't surprise me if you know people started doing that. The hell? Okay, everybody, bear with me for a second. We just lost the internet. <laughs> I'm here, but as you can tell by the geographical displaced location of things...
okay, you're back. We're seeing if Kami comes back. Kami, are you back? It says he's online. And it's not. The internet just died here for a moment. <laughs> see, I don't see. saying something. If Windows OEM say, Windows, you've gone so far, we're actually switching to Windows desktop. Yeah, they do it with a bunch of stuff they switch out. Okay, why is it not clicking? HP pisses me off because they switch off uh, a lot of the wireless and main utilities, so... Sure. Now, what would be interesting like that, though, is, like, would all applications work fully? There we go, jeez. Alright, what the hell just happened? The internet took a dump. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, it's like, here, James. Here, I, and I'll put the link into the show notes for everybody. Um, what link? Windows KDE. Uh, I'm looking. I'm going to put it right under Microsoft. You did not know that this project existed? I knew that QT and stuff is going over to Windows, but not QT. Hell, you can get a QT on Amigo S. Damn. Yeah. As the desktop environment. Why do I not get any screenshots of it? There used to be screenshots here. Let me see. Where are they? Um... I'm going to have to find the screenshots. It's been a while since I've looked at this idea. Yeah, I think I found it. Uh, more than screenshots. Say so if you find... Because they're, 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 they're a little out of the way, but there are screenshots in there. Anyways, moving on. No, that that it wouldn't surprise me if people started doing that. Okay, um, it, it's a little involved to do it seamlessly, but you know, like he said, OEMs might start doing that. I would laugh. That's buggy, though. No, it is. It's not perfect. You know, because it, it's it, yeah. That's uh, running. It may change more as Windows uses more and more KDE code, but yeah. But we'll see. May they put my put that some of that Phantom code when they have multiple desktops. Anyways, yeah, it's like not to completely bash on Microsoft. Microsoft is adding. God, we're babbling. We're just babbling tonight. <laughs> it's like if, yeah. uh, you know, my, Microsoft is adding some useful features uh, to the Windows 8 Explorer. Uh, Although some of them are like about time features, like it supports ISOs now. Uh, uh, like, like it now, like it supported like a, um, what's it called, uh, zip file before, now it supports ISOs. Exactly. And, well, and I think that gives credence to even Microsoft is acknowledging that the days of the optical drive are numbered. You know, it, it's, uh, I, honestly, if I was going to build a computer today, particularly a laptop, I wouldn't even put an optical drive on it. I'm like, why do oh. I? Why do I need one? Oh, you know Windows Phone Seven, James. He got a Lenovo ThinkPad, and he said, "Okay, it comes with an optical drive. I can get a, a three cell battery that goes in with the optical yeah, drive." Yeah, no, that's what I would do. I would rip the I would rip the um, CD drive out and replace it with the extended life battery that fits in there. And then that way, when my main battery dies, I can just do hot swap of the battery. 
It's like I just I go on and on and on and on like the Energizer. You keep on going and going and going. Yeah. So it's you know it's interesting. You know, of course they're also upping their spying. You know, they they want to uh, you know do do more research on their customers and and so on and so forth. But, you know, it's a, it's just more Windowsness. Um. Any thoughts on good or bad on that? You know. So. On what uh, the whole ISO thing? Yeah. Uh, just it is the office of throwing their own numbers, but it's still very useful for archival storage. With with longer shelf life than hard drives, because you know, like magnetic disk, yeah. <laughs> okay. What What did you say, James? I said I wonder how good the implementation will be. You know, that that that's the thing. Uh, I'm also wondering if Microsoft won't pull a um, the same thing that Apple did. Like they'll say. To upgrade to, to Windows 8, simply download Windows <laughs> Explorer. Yeah, download Windows Explorer 8 and go to mic go to Windows 8.microsoft.com and begin your install. <laughs> it's like and it will upgrade your thing and you're just screwed because you don't have your Windows 7 or Vista disk. Uh, and now you're on Windows 8 and there's no turning back. <laughs> it's like I mean. I don't think Microsoft would be that forward thinking, but it wouldn't surprise me either. You know, if they just said there are no Windows CDs, there will be no Windows piracy, you have to have a genuine version of Windows. No Windows piracy, come on, the Chinese are going to find a way. <laughs> well, but that's how they'd pitch it. You know, you must have a genuine advantage version of Windows to oh, get come Windows on, my, that's the, uh, that my friend has had the genuine advantage without paying a penny. <laughs> Shh. Microsoft insists that's foolproof. Yeah, BS. <laughs> the anyway. Only, the only reason that you get a thing is... Yada, yada. 